Ryan Steinekert with Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels. Coach, a 2-0 weekend against a couple good teams. Yeah, you know, I, I was very pleased with the kids. I thought, you know, this weekend was going to be a big one, just knowing that Manila had improved a bunch. And then going to Westside is never easy, and, and we were able to win both of those games. And I thought we played well in the victories. With the wins, though, what do you need to get better at, seeing things at Manila at Westside? You know, consistency still. There will be periods when we'll go, you know, a couple minutes without scoring or having a hard time with, with our offense, and, and that's things that we got to get better at. Defensively, I've been very pleased. You know, we've, we held both of those teams in the 40s, and any time you do that, you give yourself a chance to win. Is Nick Jarman feeling some frustration because on one end of the floor, especially at West Side, it felt like he couldn't catch a break. On the other end of the floor, he couldn't catch, get a, a foul called for him. Yeah, you know, and that happened to him in both games. You know, at, at Manila, I thought he got fouled all night, and, and they didn't call it. And then again at West Side, you know, they, they hammered on him a little. But uh, if you look at his other stats, you know, I think both games he's over 20 rebounds. Uh, he does a great job blocking shots, controlling the middle for us. So, you know, he definitely helps us on the defensive end as well. You know, him only scoring six points against West Side, most times you think that we might not win that game because of that. But other kids stepped up and played well, and that was a good win for us. You got a good team effort again, some nice passing, good ball movement, and and everybody contributing. Yeah, you know, and that's what we need to do, you know, our last three weeks here. You know, we have to play together. They have to be a unit instead of individuals, and and they're doing a good job of that so far. We mentioned on Saturday the the region title. Congratulations on that. Thanks. You know, that was a goal that they had made at the very first of the year, and it's not easy doing that. You know, some people think that region – being a region champ is pretty easy but you know you got the other teams that are trying for the exact same thing that you are and to beat Manila and Tabby at their place you know isn't easy to do. You guys have been at number one in the Deseret News ranking for a few weeks is that something you think about? You know not really you know when we hit the state tournament it doesn't matter your ranking or your records or any of that you all start over you got to win four games to be state champs so you know I'm sure the kids like it and, and like to be up there but as far as that you know, I don't look at it a whole lot. Are you thinking about other teams in the state, the Penguich and Bryce Valley, or are you more focused on, well, you still got to take care of Tabiona, ICS, and then we can worry about the rest? Yeah, you know, we talked about we wanted to go 6-0 and the last six games here, and so we got Tabby this week, and that's all we'll worry about is Tabby. And then next week we got ICS, who had a great win against Tabby this weekend. So, you know, that game's not going to be easy. So we'll finish out the regular season and then go from there. You feel like Tabby is struggling lately, or is just the region playing that much better? You know, it's hard to say because I didn't get to watch their game, but, you know, they must be struggling a little bit. And then ICS, I think, made 10 threes or something, which is, is what they do on offense. And so when they do that to you, they're going to be tough to beat. What does Tabby do that worries you for this Friday night? You know, they have the two guards that shoot really well, and they run a pick and pop for those two. And, you know, they're going to take most of the shots. we got to do a very good job of hedging on defense. And, and then we just got to make sure that we run our sets and, and we play well together. And if we do that, hopefully we can win. Are you expecting a similar game of them trying to keep the pace slow, keep the scoring as low as possible? Oh, yeah. You know, he'll slow it down, and he's not going to run up and down the floor probably. And, you know, and, and like I say, we're going to have to be able to, to stop that pick and roll and them shooting their threes. And, you know, if we do that, I think we'll have a good shot. Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels, thanks for your time. Good luck Friday night uh, at home with Taviona. Thanks.